Hello and welcome to Second Drafts. Everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. In our last videos, we talked about some of the features that Amazon and Barnes & Noble had to offer when self-publishing with them. Today we'll be looking at Kobo, another competitor in the self-publishing business. Kobo is a Canadian company based out of Toronto and is a subsidiary of a Japanese e-commerce conglomerate, Rakuten. In 2012, Kobo expanded their publishing into self-publishing with Kobo Writing Life. Kobo Writing Life is similar in setup to how Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing works. You upload your files, and Kobo will convert the files into an EPUB for you. Unlike Nook Press, there isn't an option for modifying your manuscript within the website. So, if there are any formatting issues, it must be corrected on your computer, then re-upload it to Kobo. Kobo Writing Life has the best royalty rates of the three self-publishing options we've gone over so far. When your book is priced above $2.99 US, you'll receive 70% royalties, the same as Amazon, and better than Barnes & Noble. When it's below $2.99, you receive 45% royalties, better than both Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It appears that Kobo is also planning on expanding into audiobooks. On their website, it shows it as a potential option, but when I requested more information, they emailed back that the service was not yet set up. Similarly with Nook Press and CreateSpace, Kobo Writing Life offers options with editing, cover creation, and print-on-demand. With the editing and cover creation, you'll want to get information from Kobo and then see if their prices are better than what you can find online. I reached out to Kobo to see about their print-on-demand feature, as there was no information I could find on the website. But I haven't heard back from them. I imagine it's very similar to Barnes & Noble in that you can print-on-demand for yourself and it will not show up on their store. The reason I believe this is the case is because Kobo is a product of Indigo, which has partnered with iUniverse. iUniverse is a self-publishing option which can get your book into bookstores, but costs money up front if you want to participate. We'll be covering iUniverse in a later episode of Second Drafts, so stay tuned for that. Kobo Writing Life is once again similar to Nook Press in that there are no exclusivity bonuses. So it's best to also have your novel available on other publishing platforms alongside Kobo Writing Life to augment your sales and distribution. The more places your book is available, the more likely you are to sell. One aspect of Kobo Writing Life that is superior to Amazon and Nook Press is the ability to place your book on a promotional price, and once again, you don't need to be exclusive with them to do so. You can set your book on a lower price, or you can make it available for free, and even have it permanently free if you wish. Having your book permanently free may not seem like a good idea, but if you're a new author or making a series, having your first book for free can create greater incentive for a customer to purchase the next in the series. Also, if you place your book on a promotion for free through Kobo Writing Life, you can tell Amazon and other publishing platforms that it's on for free, and Amazon will match it. I haven't had experience with this, however, so I'm unsure how it appears on Amazon's website. I doubt that they would place your book on a special section of its website when it's on sale, as it does with Kindle Countdown deals or its free book promotion. That's all we have on today's topic with Kobo Writing Life. Be sure to ask us your questions below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.